By unanimous decision, the New Hampshire Supreme Court upheld a decision by a state site committee to reject the Northern Pass project. Northern Pass was the most advanced project to bring abundant, low-cost clean energy into the region, and it's an unfortunate setback to our efforts to advance clean energy in New Hampshire. We wanted the Supreme Court to do exactly what it did, which was to one by one reject Eversource's arguments uh, and complaints about the SEC decision. Northern Pass would have brought hydropower from Canada to markets in southern New England over transmission lines that went through New Hampshire. Those fighting the plan say sending power through the state would have negatively impacted tourism and property values. And we always felt that if Northern Pass was going to go forward, that they should bury it under appropriate transportation corridors. And they never got to that point. Eversource says it will now review the court's decision page by page. Regardless, we're going to be focused on innovative solutions that lower costs for our customers, improve reliability, and advance clean energy in the state. The Forest Society recommends any future plans should take note of why thousands of people showed up in opposition of Northern Pass to begin with. They need to work with people on uh, where they're going to put that infrastructure uh, to make sure that uh, it's, it's in accordance with their views of what their community should be. On Twitter, Governor Chris Sununu said the court has made it clear it is time to move on. There are still many clean energy projects that lower electric rates to explore and develop for New Hampshire and the rest of New England. Eversource did not comment about what specific plans it may have going forward.